as the U.S. economy enters the transition phase, there is still a possibility of a soft landing. The economy will go through transition with further softening, but no sudden drop. I anticipate a slight increase in growth in the near term. The labor market is expected to remain stable, but unemployment is projected to rise to 39 by the end of the year and peak at 4.2% next year. Occupancy and rents may face some challenges in the near term, but overall the financial system is expected to remain relatively stable. Recent data from Moody's shows that wage growth continues to outpace inflation, which is positive news for consumers. We believe that the July rate hike was the last increase in the current tightening period, and we're of the opinion that interest rates will stay higher for longer. Uh, sentiment during, uh, regarding the office sector here in Houston continues to be worse than the reality. As leasing activities picked up during the spring and summer of 23, and vacancy rates have remained relatively stable. Although vacancy rates are close to the previous highs, currently standing at 18.8% across the top 50 U.S. metros, office restructuring obsolescence issues predate, predate the pandemic and the work-from-home trend. Challenges will persist for Class B and C office spaces in central business districts due to oversupply, and that trend is expected to continue. On the other hand, the retail sector seems to be improving. While some indoor malls may need to be demolished and the overall sector is experiencing growth, e-commerce may impact certain lagging companies, but may have adapted, many have adapted and continue to do so. And the key fundamentals of all retail locations remain the crucial element. Now, in the industrial sector, flex R&D and warehouse distribution properties have rebounded after a slow start. And warehouse construction has increased significantly indicating higher absorption activity and ongoing favorable conditions. Now, our credit market is showing some signs of strain, but the impact is not fully materialized yet. Delinquencies will likely increase further due to upcoming loan maturities, particularly for the office sector, where 80% of maturing loans in the next year face challenges, and 55% of that 80% face significant challenges. Uh, industrial properties lead the way in payoffs at 100%, at maturity, while retail payoffs, excluding malls, of course, are about at 90%. Now, if you're in need of assistance of an experienced commercial real estate broker, I can be reached at 281-222-0433. I appreciate your time and have a good day.